So today we're going to be turning this into a home for my garden snail. Okay, so welcome back to Jack's Mini Zoo and today we're going to be turning this 15 by 10 centimeter cube kind of aquarium into a home for this little guy and this little guy is my garden snail so his name is Frank I've had him ever since he was the, s the size of about about half the size of a pound corn so I found him I used to have giant African gu uh, land snails and I found him in with them so I thought actually you know what I'd keep him because he's been eating off their food so I thought I'd keep him but now I've got rid of my giant African land snails but I've kept him so he's due for an upgrade. So he he um he's quite a nice character. He knows who I am. He'll come out in a minute and uh, say hello. I don't know if you can see his little antenna eyes popping out. I'll put some close up videos in now. So to start off with, what we're going to do is add some substrate. So the substrate that I'm going to be using is a mix between potting soil, um, cocoa fibre and a little bit of sphagnum moss. So I have it in this little bin right here. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to use all this. So you want quite a big layer because sometimes they will burrow, but usually they'll just stick to the side of the glass, but it gives them that option. So I'll just put all of this spread it all around there we go um, this is gonna be a really quick little thing because they don't really need much okay so next we're going to be adding the uh, cuttlefish bone so you always need to have cuttlefish bone in any uh, snail uh, enclosure because they will eat it and it's good for ca it's good calcium for them to keep their shell nice and strong even if they don't eat it you should always provide it just in case they change their mind so I'll have put the calcium box right there so now I've got a little water dish so this is this is just a water dish really nothing more to say about that put that there and now I've got this little nice bit of cork bark so this is just a bit of different um terrain for him so I'm just going to put that right there nice and sturdy so that's just for him to climb on and he can also go and hide in it as well and that's that's pretty much it I'm going to go and get some food for him now so what I feed my uh, snail is fresh greens. Snails can eat pretty much any fruit, vegetables and greens that you can give them except for iceberg because iceberg isn't good for any animal. But So I've got gemmed lettuce here so that's what I'm going to be feeding him today. But like I said they can eat any, pretty much any greens, vegetables, uh, carrots, potato peel. You know it's a lot, it's a wide variety. So I've just put the water bowl in so that's in there. But as well as putting the water bowl in, I do like to um, mist it to simulate like rain. Which, yeah, to simulate rain because obviously they would live outside and it would rain. So I'd like to I like to mist it as well. So if if he or she doesn't eat from drink from the water bowl, they can drink it off the sides of the glass as well. So I'll put them in now. So when actually handling your snail, uh, you should always put water on your hands and keep them nice and moist because snails can actually, uh, uh, they can absorb the sweat and the uh, salt off your hand, which is just, it's really not good for them. So I'll put some clips of him exploring his enclosure or feeding in right now. So thank you for watching Jack's Mini Zoo, I hope you did enjoy the video and if you did uh, leave a like and uh, help me to get to 100 subscribers by 
well, subscribing, and I'll see you next time.